Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11 of my let's play. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're on episode 11. It's it's hard to believe. I literally just recorded the outro to episode 10. So last episode we worked right over there getting that witch hut together. Still have a few things to do over there, but that's okay because today we're actually going to head into the nether a little bit and start off by getting ourselves some blaze farms. I think it's really important if we're going to be doing any brewing that we need some brewing stands. So obviously I had better get to work. So when we come through the portal, I've worked a little bit more on a concept for this like main kind of central nether hub here. It's a little tiny at the moment. I think I'll expand it out even more. But as you can see, I've got some lava down here. I think I'm going to even out that lava and use orange stained glass as a little bit of a fog effect to have that go in. And I think the building style we can go for here is dwarven. I know that doesn't necessarily match with the outside, but I think having dwarves living in the nether mining the gold just kind of makes sense. Anyways, let's head down this tunnel. This tunnel is our crimson tunnel. It heads to the crimson forest and the nether fortress. The other tunnel on the other side is the warp forest and the bastion. I think we'll decorate those tunnels eventually in the themes of the places that they lead. Let me know what you think of those ideas. Okay, we're approaching danger. It's time to drink the potion. This in here is the blaze farm that I think I'd like to edit because it's kind of straight from our tunnel and our strider is down there. So it's kind of perfect, I won't lie. Um, extremely dangerous, but perfect. I know I can't stop the spawning with this, but to be honest, if I can just put that there. Okay, shh, shh, shh. They hurt. Ah, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> this is going to be horrible, isn't it? I hate this. Right, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. So I'm following a tutorial by someone called Eagle Eye 621 who is awesome. He put together an amazing tutorial. I'll link it down below. Super professional. Gave me all of the dimensions that I needed to get this done right. And uh, I'm going to try and follow it. I'm not going to use the exact like layout that he did, but I'm definitely going to follow the exact dimensions. So thank you for that. Excuse me. Yes, I want no part of that. Oi! That's enough out of you. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. This is actually kind of good for me because it's tucked into this wall. I don't I don't have to make the whole thing. <laughs> I can just kind of dig it out on this side. Alright, alright. Chill, chill, chill. I hear you. So according to this tutorial, I should be okay to put a wall right here. This actually seems pretty straightforward, I'm not gonna lie. I think even me, a builder, can handle this. You would choose this moment to come hang out with me, wouldn't you, Piglin? Just can't resist. Can't resist. Okay, spawning is actually getting way worse the more I open this up, which just fantastic for everybody involved, I think. I'm so nervous to hit them when they're around a pigman. Like, that's the last thing I want, is to hit a zombified piglin right now. Please. Please. This is how I'm gonna die. Like, this is literally how I'm gonna die. I don't... I hate this. I'm just trying to, like, count so peacefully. I'm being so peaceful right now, you guys. This is actually great, because I'm getting so much nether brick, which I love. Such a good building block. Dude! I... Ah! Stop it! Stop it right now. I also think I'm gonna build this floor out of glass. In the tutorial I'm watching, he has a lot of it built out of glass. I'm, I'm not that brave. But the flooring out of glass doesn't sound bad to me. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> it's uh, kind of horrible. Okay, um, back to work. Yeah, see, this is exactly what I didn't need. I really, I hate everything, but I appreciate that their fireballs don't do damage to me, except for setting me on fire. I, I feel like it wasn't always that way. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but they're shooting at me. It doesn't hurt unless I touch their actual, like, if I go in their space, then, then they can hurt me. That's, that's all, though. You guys are making this so much harder than it has to be. Let me peacefully make a killing chamber for you, okay? Okay, don't lie. How many of you watching would have turned this on peaceful already to get it over with? <laughs> Oh my gosh, before I was a YouTuber, I used to do that. Like, I, if I was frustrated with something, I'd just be like, oh my gosh, I have to turn it on peaceful just so I can have the peace of mind of not hearing these dummies constantly shooting at me. But it's okay. Um, 
Not gonna do that now. Um, gonna brave it. It's all good. Oh, and a ghast. Two ghasts! Really good. I love that for us. Oh god, I'm actually on fire. I'm actually on, I completely forgot. I am not resistant to fire unless I actually drink the potion. <sighs> okay. Now, I do think that this is the chamber. This is the chamber. It's done. That the floor sucks. But you know what? I'm a bit tired. I'm tired of being shot at. I'm gonna go get lava. I can fix the aesthetic later. So the sides are not like perfectly patched in, but they're close. <laughs> Ah, I'm such a noob. I'm such a noob. It's fine though. I have fire resistance on. Just gonna plop this down. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Right. I'm gonna run out of the area and just run back in just so that these guys despawn. Oh, and there's a ghast again. Why me? Why me? I hate this. Hate everything about this. That's fine. This is fine. It's done. It doesn't work. It's the wrong dimensions. Why is it the wrong dimensions? Oh! I've made an error. Also, my gold armor is almost dead. And I really think I should go home and fix it before I finish this. So, I'm gonna do that. I don't, I don't want anybody to be mad at me. Better safe than sorry, right? Everyone, I have done it. So it's uh, it's super ugly, looks horrible, but I think we can turn it into almost its own little fortress here by just kind of refining the outside shape and maybe tucking some windows into it. I don't know, I think we can make it look good though and then we'll be able to step inside here and be completely safe. And we should see the blaze spawning and making their way down here. All right, so there's some work to do in here aesthetically, but I think I'm gonna leave it for this episode. That was a lot of work. <laughs> I, I kind of never want to do that again, to be honest. It didn't take that long. It was like a 30 minute job, but man, not fun. You guys are not fun, you know that? I did actually go back and repair my tools as well. <laughs> uh, it's been hard on the supplies. Super scary nether stuff aside, it's time to come back to our peaceful village and do a little bit more work around here. I am taking a week off very soon. This is the last episode I need to pre-record, which means I'm going to be away from this world for six whole days. So if you don't mind, I'd kind of like to just chill. <laughs> I think that's what I want to do, and uh, you guys are going to get to do it with me. One of the most popular suggestions that you guys have given me is actually to build a lighthouse and or tower around this village. And I absolutely adore that idea. We have these amazing islands around here. We have one right there and one right there. I'm gonna leave the bigger one for today because I have some other ideas we could possibly play with for that. And the build I wanna do today can fit on the small one. Here is the little island that I'm talking about. The first thing I'm gonna do is make this actually more of an island. So I'm gonna kind of terraform out this end here. Uh, it's just a little bit too close to my docks anyway to make it make sense. And I think this will look a little bit better as open water. While I'm doing this, since we are officially on double digits, I think I'd like to take a second and just respond to a couple of your comments and questions in this episode. All right, so the first question that I came across was by someone from the name of Jacob who asked how long I've been playing in this world. And uh, let me show you my statistics. So time played 1.6 days and I haven't died. As you can see, time since last death, 1.6 days. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> I'm quite proud of that, I think. So for this series so far, I've essentially done almost nothing off camera. I've either live streamed and or recorded just about everything, like not perfectly everything, but more than I would normally do because I am trying to take this series fairly slowly and I'm really enjoying that. Learning how to enjoy the early game again as a player who's been playing for a long time has been really nice and refreshing. The next comment I'd like to address is from D Cooper, who says, hi Gemini, I've been a long time viewer and I started my own YouTube channel and started streaming. I was wondering if you could give me some tips and tricks. To be honest, 
I don't have a ton of tips and tricks, but one thing that I always tell new people when they're starting out is to just be yourself and make whatever videos you feel like it. When you have a small YouTube channel, you have an opportunity to learn so many things and it's okay if you think that your content might be a little bit cringy at first or anything like that. Like that's totally okay. You haven't built up the audience that knows you yet. So there's not as much pressure for everything that you do to be perfect. If you are a small YouTuber right now, I want you to just relax and enjoy the process. Please, please, please don't stress yourself out over the numbers. Those things will come, but you have to enjoy this early start of your YouTube career. You only get to be there once. So it took me a long time to grow my channel. Sometimes when people ask me for advice, I'll look at their channel and they've only been uploading for like one week. It took me like four years of uploading to get an audience. You have to be ready and be in it for the long haul. So you have to enjoy making videos and editing and what you're doing more so than getting views. Uh, that's my advice. Uh, hopefully that helps a little bit. Please enjoy it. Please just enjoy it. All right, here's the tower so far. Uh, it's not much, but we can work with this. I think we could work with this shape. <laughs> Maybe, I hope. The next comment is from Martin, who suggested that I put some lovely hay bales next to the stables. And I think this is a great idea. Martin, these are for you. There we go. I think I can get a bigger pile, but somebody also suggested I put some custom trees around. I'm struggling to find that comment, but whoever you were, I agree with you. We'll definitely do some more custom trees around our farm. It'll look great. Thank you for all the suggestions. The next comment is from Hedgehog Lover. Great name, by the way. And you suggested that I should go to a coral reef and get some supplies there so that I can properly decorate around our nether portal with sea pickles and all of those things. And I think that is such a fantastic idea. We definitely need to do that. I totally agree with you. I haven't actually found a coral reef yet, to be honest. So that's something that I'll have to work on. The next suggestion comes from Chocolate Heart, who says, for my nether tunnels, I should use ice and a boat so I can run down them without my hunger disappearing. And after building in there a little bit today, I totally agree with you. That is definitely something that I need. I'm excited to do the nether tunnel because I also have soul speed as an option. Um, I don't really know what to do with that. I think the most logical thing to do, since it's three wide, would it be to do maybe two strips of ice and then a strip of soul sand, like down one of the sides. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but that seems logical to me, rather than uh, having it all be the same. But thank you so much for the suggestion. Everyone, you have the literal best comments. I love reading them. All right, what do you think? It's sort of starting to come together, right? I don't want to go too crazy tall, because like, I don't think it would fit with the scale of what we're doing here, but I'm gonna do one more layer on top of this and hope that that is where we can put a little light. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing this by trial and error. I never worry too much about what I'm building. Like I feel like some of the comments that you guys leave, and this is not referencing any specific one, but sometimes you guys ask me like just how I come up with stuff or how I can get stuff to look right the first time and the honest answer is it doesn't look right the first time it never does but i'm not afraid to place these blocks down and get them wrong like the whole time i'm building this if i decide that i place this wall and i don't like this wall all i gotta do is take it down and do it again it's not really a big deal so i'm not afraid to experiment and try new things because i know at the end of the day the worst thing that could possibly happen is i'll have to take it down and that's not a very bad worst thing now with that said i know that there are also some of you who struggle with liking anything that you build and i just want you guys to know that i've seen a lot of your builds whether it's through Twitter or in my Discord server, I've seen a lot of the stuff that you guys create and I haven't seen any bad builds yet. You guys are amazing. My community is so talented. And remember, you are way harsher on yourself than anybody else would ever be. You're your worst critic. So just finishing off the roof now, adding one more layer, just getting these pillars all the way up. This roof is kind of pretty basic and just rounded. Um, well, it's a little bit fancier than these roofs. It's not a triangle, it's round. So it's gonna clash with them a slightly, but I, I like it because I have the triangle roof there and I'm gonna do a triangle roof right here too. So hopefully that'll balance it out. Right, grand reveal. Not bad, eh? I don't mind it. 
it looks like a cute little tower and it's got like the little shed off to the side. I don't mind it. Let's get some shroom lights to put up top. Oh, excuse you. <laughs> I cannot believe an enderman has claimed my tower. I haven't even gotten to change it into a lighthouse yet and you've already made it your own. It's kind of rude, but it's also kind of cool. <laughs> hey. I like you. Can we be friends? I won't look at you, I promise. I know you're self-conscious. Oh, easy, easy. Ah, oh, gosh. <laughs> you're making it hard. All right, so just in order to make this a lighthouse, I'm just simply gonna put some shroom lights right in the middle here. Don't know if this is necessarily what all of you guys are envisioning, but I like the warm light of the shroom light. I think it looks good. Um, it's about as close to a lighthouse as I think I can get in this particular style. I don't want to do like a modern red and white one here because I think it would clash and contrast a lot. Are you, what are you doing? Are you angry at me? Did I look at you? Oh, you're angry at me. <laughs> Speaking of Endermen, we're gonna have to get our pearls together and go fight the dragon soon. I mean, we have pretty good gear. We could probably take it on. When do you guys think I should do that? All right, there we have it. A beautiful little sort of beacon as an entrance to our little village. I think that's cute. I think it is on theme, but not too crazy, but still definitely a tower. I like it. By the way, if you guys ever want a tutorial on anything that you're seeing here, like this, for example, just let me know. I can totally do stuff like that, but I'm not gonna do it if you guys don't want it, you know? I was just kind of organizing my storage here a little bit and I realized there isn't any organization. Well, there's a little bit. I'm like a little bit, it's bad, it's bad. Um, But I have a lot of stuff that I'm not really using, like all these carrots, potatoes. I could go make some money right now. I know just the people who would be into buying my crops. Come on, Bella, we ride, we ride, Bella. Also, uh, Dodo, you, you're, you gotta chill, cause you're slow. <laughs> I love you, but your armor weighs you down. Oh, Bella. Oh, Bella, that's not what I meant. Um, hang on. I got us. Don't even worry. Oh, sharpshooter. Don't worry. I, I hang on. <laughs> uh, uh, first try. First try. Ready? Ready? Nailed it. Where'd the other one go? <gasps> Bam. Right, you didn't see the first two shots, it's all good. I really gotta make a bridge to the village. Like, this is annoying on horse, and I wanna be able to ride my horse around. Like, I feel like even when I get a Lytra, I just like riding the horses around. I wish they were a little better in trees, but if I make a path, you know, I wanna make this work. Bella, you're making it real hard. It doesn't have to be this difficult. It really doesn't. Hello, bees. Oh, and there's a donkey. Donkey? I'm gonna come back for you someday. You, you wait there. Come on, Bella. Come on. Cross the river. You could do it. Oh, I gotta make bridges. We need a bridge building episode, guys. Hey, look, there's some friends for you, Bella. You can socialize, you chill. Don't walk too far. Yeah, that's right, you stay there. Right, now I'm gonna take these <laughs> and I'm gonna resell them to the farmers who, who lived here and harvested these. That's fine, right? It, I'm not technically robbing them because I'm giving them back. I just, they're gonna pay for them. Hey, what do you want? You want my potatoes and carrots? Sure, 22 carrots, I'll take it. Whoa, pumpkins? I can make an auto pumpkin farm easy. Wow, I like you. Bella, you, you, you chilling? All right, I gotta keep an eye on my horse, but go ahead, you can upgrade now. There we go, got the pink. Pumpkin as well, and you'll sell me pumpkin pie. That's actually pretty good. Good trades, all right, moving on. All right, 18 emeralds. We are rich, we're rich. I like it. This guy has a paper trade as well. Hmm, maybe, I just made a villager noise accidentally. <laughs> maybe we need to make some automatic farms soon. Now, where's the guy that lives here? Oh, there's book guy, book guy, channeling. That's, I actually, I don't, I like that. I kinda should reset him, right? Like, I shouldn't trade that. Because if I don't trade with him, I can reset him. Oh, this, that's obnoxious. That's not necessary at all. Will nobody pick up this job? 
Hello? You don't have a job here? Look, there's one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, what do you got? Feather falling two. For a third, that's a crime. No, nope, absolutely not. Right, put that back down. I know that this is not the most efficient way to do this, by the way, I'm, I'm aware. Um, but I just want to do it a couple times and see what I can get and we'll set up an official trading area eventually I have a whole build plan that I want fortune three. That's kind of good, right? It's not really what I want though You guys are gonna hate me, but I'm not gonna keep the fortune three she got this time multi shot No, yeah, I'm good. It's cheap, but I'm good. I think this guy's going to his house So I'm actually just gonna trap him in here <laughs> Oh, this is mean we're gonna we're gonna sleep Hey, so you don't get to get up. You get to just trade with me. Multi-shot. No, I'm good. Let's go again. Yeah. Uh, nothing. Bookshelf. Okay. No, let's go again. Sharpen is five. Expensive, though. I gotta set up, like, a whole emerald area if I want to be able to afford that kind of stuff. But this is giving me a lot of hope for the future. So give me all your ideas for trading. I'm thinking we set them up in like their own little temple or hall. I think that'd be really cool, but I wanna hear from you guys. Mending, 16 emeralds, I did it. Oh my gosh, dude, you gotta, I gotta lock that in. I gotta lock that in, you gotta stay. You are not allowed out, I'm going up here. Chill, 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 you stay put. Oh my gosh, dude. No, 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 you stay, you are, you are staying in there, sir. That is, wow, Bella, Bella, where's Bella? Bella, I didn't forget you, I promise. It was just a lapse. Come on, Bella. Get me home. Fast, fast, fast. I can't believe I did it. It took 14 minutes, by the way. I have my uh, I have my recording stuff up so I can see how long it took. 14 minutes of just clicking one button. Uh, not the most fun thing to do, but that's actually fairly fast, and that's a good trade. 16 emeralds, my gosh. This is perfect timing as well, because I just built the XP farm. For Blaze, of course. Blaze are better XP than spiders, I think, so, or at least it seems like it. Got my book, time to return. We are so elegant on our way to get mending. Heck yeah. Right, Bella, I have trust issues, so I'm gonna drop you off with the cows. Don't mind, sorry. Here we go, we're gonna trade right before you go to bed. Don't worry, don't worry. There you go, mending, our first mending book. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So that means, so long as this villager stays alive, this trade is locked in. So you get to stay. You're a mending villager now for the rest of your time. You gotta stay in the house. You really do gotta stay in the house. I am serious about that. Alright, I am extremely pleased with myself. I guess that means that now I need some farms so that I can actually get the rest of those mending and continue to trade with villagers. Bella, please. All right, so I think it's only correct that we probably put the mending on my helmet that is netherite since it is a little bit broken and could that way get healed. But we do have other pieces of netherite to upgrade stuff. And you guys said that I should do my tools next or my chest plate because those are the things that either provide me the most protection or that I use the most. So definitely fantastic advice. For now though, since we can get more mending fairly easily, I'm not going to worry about it too much and I am going to put mending directly onto this helmet. And we're going to name it. It is Gemini's Crown. There we go. An epic crown if I do say so myself. There's only one thing that can make our island a little bit more perfect. And I'm collecting food for it now. I've decided I want turtles. And I will stop at nothing until this beach has turtles. So the way that I think you get turtles to pick your beach as the home beach is you actually breed some turtles while they're at their home beach and then you pick up the eggs with silk touch and you let them hatch here. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this can become a little turtle kind of sanctuary by the lighthouse. Oh, and just because I know some of you would appreciate it, there it is in all its beauty, our lighthouse. I'm pretty sure I see a turtle hanging out over here sometimes. I do, yeah, okay. Can we get you a friend, I wonder? Hey, what you doing? Do you have any friends? All right, let me see if I can find another one nearby. I'll just go up along the coast. Come on, there's gotta be turtles living out here somewhere, surely. I literally cannot find a second turtle. I'm so sad. Why not? Look at my home in the sunrise. I mean, not to brag, but that's a pretty good home, right? I wouldn't mind living there. <laughs> Look at the bees. <gasps> Is that 
It's a turtle. Yes. I found you. Okay. Yeah, look at us go. Heck yeah. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. You know, when people ask me what it's like to be a YouTuber, sometimes it's like spending an hour trying to get a turtle across a bay in a video game and enjoying it. And I'm okay with that. Am I almost there? Oh my gosh, I'm almost there. Come on, come on. I have a friend for you. You guys are gonna make children and it's gonna be amazing. And I, I really, please don't get lost. Okay, you're not lost. Good, good, good. Okay, come on. Come on, little turtles. Hi, guys. All right. So let's feed you guys, right? There you go. There you go. Now, which one of you is going to get pregnant with eggs? This one. Okay. So we got to follow this one. <laughs> Do you see how their tummy gets bigger? That's such a cool little detail. The other one leaves because what a horrible father. This one should lay some eggs because this is its home beach. You going for a little swim, pregnant lady? Okay. Sure. Sure. Please don't go far. Oh, it's majestic. The majestic pregnant turtle makes its way through the kelp forest as the dolphin watches. Oh my gosh, this is, this is gorgeous. Oh, your friends? Beautiful. Just following a turtle. We're turning, nope, we're going straight. Turtle doesn't know where it's going. Heck yeah. Oh no, you are not gonna interrupt my pregnant lady. Nuh-uh, no chance. Not today. Where are you going? Do you live at my house? Do we live in the same place? It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting all these dramatic shader shots of a turtle. I love it. Oh, hey, you have a Nautilus shell. I actually, I want that from you. Can you, can you drop it? You, can you drop it? Thank you. Perfect. We can make a conduit soon. We need uh, seven more. All right, sun's getting real low now, turtle. Gonna, gonna need you to get home, please. It's nighttime. Oh, but the village, the village is lit up. It's dangerous, I'm sleeping. Oh, there you go, you picked, you picked the singular block of sand. I appreciate that, you know, that was a safe way to do that. Um, all right, very cool, very cool, turtle. This is beautiful, this has been a great moment. Goodbye, you're leaving the egg, all right, cool. All right, well, this is my egg. It's my egg and nobody can touch it. I will guard it with my life. I have an arrow in my knee. Oh, this is tragic. All right, everyone. That is going to be it for episode 11. What an episode. It was a little bit more talky than normal and I apologize if that's not something that you're into, but one talky episode in 11, I think is not too bad. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you are all staying safe and having a lovely, lovely summer or winter, depending on where you're from. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.